Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we will discuss the problem swap two nimbles in a byte. So basically, the no uh, problem says that we'll be given a number n and we have to swap two nibbles in it and find the resultant number. Now, what do we mean by nibbles? So basically, nibbles is nothing but collection of four bits together. Okay. For example, if they like whenever there are eight bit numbers, okay, because uh, the problem says what swap two uh nibbles in a byte in one byte how many uh like if you see in one byte eight bits are there right so like you can say one two three then four then five then six then seven eight so in one number there are eight bytes that are there so let's let's assume uh, that will uh, put some value so let's say these are a b then c then d okay then e f g h okay so basically this particular thing is known as one nimble okay and this is known as another nimble so basically it's a connection uh, it's a collection of four bits so you have to swap them so basically you have to put this here and this one here so then uh, what would the binary representation look like it will be e f g h where e f uh, like e f g h all these will be either zero or one okay it will be e f g h then after that a b c d so this is how it is going to look like okay so this is the final number the uh, in the binary representation and you will print the corresponding number in the decimal format. So let's say if we have been given the test case and we have n as 100. So let's talk about n is equal to 100. Let's say n was given to me as 100. Now if n is given as 100, so what do we uh, want? Like n is given as 100, so 100 is basically 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so 0, 1, 1, 0 and then after that uh, we have got 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, then we have got 0, 1. 0, 0. If we have got this particular number right here, so what can be done? So first of all, these bits that are there, they will go on the left side and these four, uh, these bits, these four bits will come on the right side. So both of them will swap. So then the number will be 0, 1, 0, 0 and after that what? 0, 1, 1, 0. Now what, is, uh, what does this number look like now? If you will see this particular number right here, so basically it will be 70 now. So 70 will get printed as a new number. Now, how can we solve this particular problem? So, if you will see here, like we'll be always given 8-bit numbers, right? So, basically, uh, we'll be given the numbers from where to where. We'll be given the numbers from 0 to 255 because all these numbers will have not more than 8 bits, okay? Now, after that, like let's say if I have been given what? Uh, let's take the first test case. Let's say we were given 100, okay? If we are given the number as 100, uh, then 100 is what? Uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. And then after that, after that what? 0, 1, 0, 0. Now, what I can do is, if I, like, I have to first of all extract the left side and the right side. Okay, so this is basically the left side. How can I extract it? So, in order to extract the left side, what I can do is, like, let's say if I do an AND of this particular number, with what? With 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 0. So, on the left side, the four bits, uh, on the rightmost side, let's say this is the rightmost, uh, right side that I have. Okay, so this I will want uh, to go on the left. So in order to get uh, this particular part, let's say this is uh, the right side uh, uh, four bits, right? So in that case, in order to get the right side, what I'll do is I'll I'll add them with uh, one bits, okay, with all the bits as one at at these four positions. Why I will add them with one? Because if they are one, then I'll get one. If they are zero, so I'll get zero. And rest of the bits that are there on the left side, I'll uh, add them with zero so that I don't get them, right? So indirectly this will become what? This will be 0, 0, 0, 0 because all these bits are 0. Then I'm having AND with 1, 1, 1. So whichever bits will be 1, I'll get 1. So I'll get 0, 1, 0, 0. So now if you will see, what I'll get from the right side is this particular thing. Okay. Because all these bits are 0, so they will not impact. So right portion in bit representation would look like this. Okay. That I have currently. Now I want to do what? This right portion that is there, I want to shift it uh, uh, on this side. Now, if I want to shift it, so I want them to shift by four positions. So in that case, which uh, shifting can I use? Suppose that if I'm if I'll left shift them, because if if I'll right shift, then the bits get removed. If I'll left shift, then bits get get added. So when I'll do uh, left shift by uh, right uh, left shift by four, then what will happen? You already have zero one zero zero. Now four bits on the left side will get added. So zero zero zero. So now this will be your right. So you can see that uh, these bits that were uh, 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, they are now on the right side. Okay. And 4 bits have been added here. So this is how my uh, right looks like now. 
Okay. Now talking about the left that was already there with me. Uh, right. So how do I get this these elements? So again, I'm writing this number. So I have what 0, 1, 1, 0. Uh, okay. I've got 0, 1, 1, uh, 0. Then I've got what? Uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now, if I have got this particular number here, okay. So what will happen here? Uh, like I'll remove this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. So I want to remove these guys and this is the right side, like this is the left side that I actually want. So what I can do is whatever original number I have, if I do what, if I right shift it by 4, if I right shift it by 4, then 4 bits from the right side will get removed and this will be the remaining bit representation. So once I get my left and right, so if you'll see here, my left looks like uh, this. If I'll talk about my right, so right is what? Right is 0, 1, 0, 0, then what? 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. Then after that, what does my uh, what does my left look like? So left base uh, left basically looks like what? It looks like uh, you can say 0, 0, 0, 0, and then 0, 1, 1, 0. This was originally on my left. Now when I'll do or of both of them, then I'll get what? 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay, then 0, 1, 1, 0. And that is the final answer that I wanted because this is the representation for 70. Let's check this. You can see here that uh, finally we want what? We want 0, 1, 0, 0 and then 0, 0, 1, 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0, then 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is what we are getting finally. So basically what we want to do is whatever original number we have, we want to get the left 4 bits that are there on the left side and 4 bits that are there on the right side. In order to get uh, like in order to get the four bits that are there on the left side, I will add it with 15. If I have original number, if I add it with 15, then I'll get my left part. And then once I get my get my left part, then what I'll do is I'll say left is equal to left part left shift left shifted with four. So now it will uh, come on the right side because once I am able to extract uh, zero one zeros. Uh, let's say uh, let's talk about this. Uh, let's write this correctly. So let's say once I want to get my right part, that is uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. So in this case, uh, what is uh, being done by me? So basically, if you will see, right part will be what? Basically, I am doing n and with which number? With 15. Because all these bits are 1, 1, 1, 1. So that is not, nothing but the number 15. Then after that, what I will do is, I will do right is equal to right left shift by 4. Then the number will look like what? It will be basically, uh, like uh, it will basically be what? It will be? 0, 1, 0, 0, and then all these zeros. Okay, so that's how I'll get my right. Then after that, how do you get your left uh, part? So on the left side, the four bits that are there, if you write, if you right shift the number by four, then you'll get your left part. And then once you have got the updated left, uh, left, left part and the right part is left shifted by four already, then you can or, or use the or operator. Once you use the or operator, then you'll get the, then you'll get the final number. Okay. So let's try and quickly uh, implement this in terms of code as well and see what we'll, we'll do here. So first of all, talking about the right part that we have. So we'll say that int, the right will be what? Right will be nothing but, uh, you can say n and with 15. Okay. Then after that, I'll say that right will be equal to what? Uh, right, left shift by 4. Because now I want to move these four bits on the right on the left side. So that's why I'll add four bits on the left side so that they can shift to the shift to the left side. Then after that, the left will be what? Left will be basically nothing but the number left shift by 4. Now finally, what can I return? I can simply return uh, left or with right. Okay, that's how I'll get the final uh, number. So let's try and uh, compile this to check if it works fine or not. Okay, this does work fine. Let's submit it. I hope that you have understood the dry run. So you can see that our code was able to pass all the test cases. The time complexity would be nothing but order of 1 and space will be all order of 1 as well because we are dealing with the internal bit representations and we are using the OR operator AND operator and the left shift right shift operators. So that's why it will be constant in nature. Thank you for watching this video.